Have you ever asked yourself, am I depressed or just lazy? Do you spend your entire day doing nothing but still feel extremely exhausted? Do you find it difficult to get out of bed? Many people with depression often feel like they're just being lazy. On the surface, depression and laziness may look similar, but it's far from the same. We made this video to remind you that being depressed does not make you lazy or bad. So let's delve into six signs that you're too depressed to do anything. Number one, you can't snap yourself out of it. You really need to snap out of it. Your best friend said to you one day while she visited you during one of your down moments, I want to, but I just can't. You replied to her, hoping that she would understand how you desperately want to love watching your favorite movies again. Telling someone to just snap out of it sounds extremely invalidating and suggests that someone is actually deciding to suffer from depression. Depression is never a choice. No one chooses to experience immobilizing levels of depression. If they were given a choice to stop experiencing it, they would choose to stop. Depression is a grave mental illness that requires professional treatment and in some cases, medication. Number two, you can't cheer yourself up. Similar to point number one, have you ever felt disheartened or downcast? However, you can't pinpoint exactly why you feel that way or that nothing you do seems to lift up those heavy feelings in your chest. According to a report, depression is a mental illness that causes extensive and long lasting effects on your thinking, emotions, perceptions, and behaviors. Depression will cause the sufferer to feel sad about everything. As a matter of fact, it does not necessarily require a trigger such as a difficult event or situation, a loss or a change of circumstances for a person to feel depressed. Outwardly, we might see that a person's life is totally awesome and amazing. They would even admit that this is true. Yet that person still feels dreadful inside. Number three, you've lost interest in everything. Do you feel that everything in your life is just less enjoyable, less intriguing, less important, less lovable and less worthwhile? Have you felt that it's difficult for you to be motivated, feel pleasure or anticipation? Indeed, depression can taint every nook and cranny of your life, causing everything to become less exciting and less satisfactory. This loss of interest is known as anhedonia, which means to reduce desire and lack of motivation to do anything. According to a study, this symptom can be experienced in varying degrees. Some obtain no pleasure from being in the presence of other people, or some may feel lonely, yet at the same time, want to isolate themselves. Number four, you can't function like you used to. Does it ever feel so difficult to just get yourself out of bed? You should shower, but you think, what's the point? You go to work, but you're unable to focus on the task at hand. When a person experiences grief, it may take a while to pass, but a person with clinical depression is most likely to withdraw from daily activities and stop communicating with their loved ones. The mountain in front of them seems harder to climb and it feels difficult to jump over the hurdles and challenges. Number five, your laziness isn't triggered by anything. Do you find this feeling so lazy and unenergetic to do anything, perpetuating itself in your routine? You prefer to lie around in bed instead of doing the laundry. You know that perceived laziness in depression is often not triggered by one specific thing? A depressed person may look lazy due to apathy and impassiveness. They will not care to accomplish a particular goal and sometimes will have learned helplessness. However, there is not always a lucid and direct reason why a depressed person may exhibit this behavior of laziness. Number six, your laziness is not a choice. I know what I have to do to accomplish my goals but no matter how much my mind ruminates and reminds myself about it, I never do it. I suppose I'm lazy. Have you ever confessed such a statement to someone you trust? Or maybe you may have such a thought inside your mind. Laziness has become a hackneyed term associated with depression. Oftentimes acts as a character judgment, really. This does nothing to help comprehend why someone does not strive and put one's best foot forward to do what they want to do or what is expected of them to do. Laziness is perceived as a problem rather than a symptom of a problem. One may miss the red flags that they're depressed and need treatment. Once the underlying issues are addressed, you will be one step closer to healing. Depression is a complex, multi-systemic disease that can appear 
concomitantly with other psychiatric problems such as anxiety disorder or phobia disorders. A thorough and holistic understanding of depression has been elusive due to its complexity. However, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Depression is highly treatable even in the most severe cases. Depression is usually cyclical and early treatment may hinder or forestall recurrent episodes. The truth is no one should hesitate to seek professional help if you notice that you or a loved one exhibit such behaviors. Did you relate to this video? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there who need to hear this. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks so much for watching.